Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. So um, I'm Yusuf Siklab from uh, IRD, uh, the French National Research Institute for uh, Sustainable Development. And uh, my presentation is entitled Extracting Masks from Herbarium Specimen Images Based on Object Detection and Image Segmentation Techniques. This work was uh, carried out uh, as part of the EcoPlus uh, project, which aims to develop artificial uh, intelligent based uh, tools to facilitate the exploration and navigation uh, of the collection of the National Museum of Natural History in Paris. So, <clears throat> sorry, our work uh, primarily focuses on herbarium images initially, and then we will proceed to work on zoology images and um, 3D images. So as you, want, uh, as you know all, uh, plants are essential component of global biodiversity and play a, a crucial role in uh, uh, promoting uh, human well-being. Um, for generations, passionate botanists and researchers have traveled the world uh, collecting herbarium specimens to preserve the vast variety of uh, uh, plant species in our planet. Um, at the uh, Paris Herbarium, digitization uh, of the specimens was completed over two years. So, uh, then, other herbaria in, uh, in France, uh, such as Montpellier, Lyon, and Toulouse, have also been digitized since then. Now, we have a collection of more than 9 million images in Reconnat. Reconnat is uh, the repository where all the, uh, the scans um, are uh, stored. Um, Herbarium scans are uh, herbarium specimen scans are uh, a valuable data source, aiding in understanding significant um, significant um, understanding. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, herbarium specimen uh, scans are a valuable data source, aiding in uh, understanding sig significant traits to um, build, to understand. Um, significant to, to biodiversity and addressing key questions such as how do plants respond to climate change, uh, how do they react to biotic and abiotic uh, influences, and um, what role does a specific space is placed within an ecosystem. Um, the study and analysis of observable, uh, observable plant traits can provide insight into those questions, but in our collections, each image is uh, associated only with the species name, the major region, and the, uh, the date. So it is difficult to navigate and search efficiently in such large collections with only those criteria. In this work, our aim is to enrich the image descriptions with descriptive features for better searching. So we want to extract, extract features from uh, the images. Uh, exploiting such large collection is very it is, is, is a task is a very challenging task and uh, um, yes they, uh, it requires uh, automatic processing. Uh, one promising solution is using computer-based uh, techniques such as uh, deep learning, which is um, a technology that has proven its eff efficiency uh, in processing large volumes of data. Uh, but herbarium specimens can be difficult to process with deep learning techniques as they contain several kinds of uh, several non-plant elements which we can uh, uh, consider as visual noise for the uh, for deep learning models including for example information labels scale colors color palette envelope containing seeds or other organs etc Moreover, the, the, the paper on which the specimens are mounted can degrade over time for multiple reasons. And often the paper's color darkens and in some cases uh, approaches the color of the plants. So uh, in deep learning, neural network uh, models, yeah, they are well suited to analyze to the analysis of herbarium specimens while making abstraction of the presence of such visual noise. We consider it as noise uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in this case. However, in some cases, the model can focus on this uh, elements, which eventually can lead to a bad generalization. It is so important to improve, the, uh, to remove the noise from uh, the images before using them in uh, model training and testing to improve uh, the performances um, 
particularly the, the, the general, generalization. There has been some uh, studies on, on this topic, but they use a cropping techniques and they do not guarantee that the visual noise is removed from the cropped image. For example, here, uh, the labels are frequently put uh, to random positions in the scans, resulting in cropped images that still contain noise. So, um, our aim, as, as I said, we want to create um, high resolution clean plant masks. Um, these masks will be then used in other models, deep learning models, for a variety of purposes. For this, we have uh, we combine object detection techniques and image segmentation. For the object detection, um, our aim is to detect or identify the non-plant elements in order to remove them from the image. Then we use segmentation uh, in order to remove the, uh, all the background uh, and keep only the, the plants. Um, for the object detection, we used uh, YOLO v7, which is uh, um, an algorithm for object detection, uh, um, but um, we improved it by um, adding an attention mechanism, which is called um, attention gate. So um, at the end, we propose an algorithm that identifies and retains the pixels belonging to the plant specimen and removes the other pixels that are not uh, uh, um, part of, uh, that are part of the non-plant uh, elements. OK, so for in the first step, we manually annotated um, a, a set of data, a set of images uh, and using uh, bounding boxes, then we use that data set to, 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 tra to train our uh, deep learning model uh, in order to identify the non-plant elements and remove them. Once removed, we blacken the, the, covered, uh, the pixels covered by the, the detected noise elements. Then we use color segmentation to select only the pixels with values in a range that correspond to mostly to, to, to a plant. Then we apply a morphological opening operation that removes noise and separate objects. Uh, then we, uh, we apply a closing uh, morphological operation that fills the gaps. Okay. As you can see here, we have uh, some examples of uh, the segmentation process. We have three original images and just below you have, uh, we can see uh, the obtained results. Okay, so we have an approach that removes the background noise from herbarium scans and extra extract plant masks. Yes, it is an important step before using them uh, in different deep learning models. But we have noticed that the quality of the extraction varies depending of, yeah, whereas depending of um, the extraction, um, the, the, the quality uh, of the extraction varies depending on the quality of the scans the condition of the specimen and the, the used paper. For example, uh, extraction made from samples where the color extraction, sorry, extractions uh, made from samples where the color of the plant is different from the color of the background were more accurate than extractions made from uh, samples where the color of the plant and uh, background are close. To overcome these limitations, we used uh, deep learning uh, generated models. And here we have some examples of the obtained uh, results. Actually, we have used two deep learning models. This one is UNET and this one is peaks to peaks And as you can see, uh, the results obtained with peaks to peaks uh, seems to be uh, better. Here we have another example. Uh, I reached the end of my presentation. Thank you, if you have any questions. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Yusuf. We've got four more minutes for questions. Uh, can anybody see online if there's any questions? There aren't. Actually, are there any questions from the room? So, so quite a few people have done sort of segmentation on images like this, but I've never seen anybody actually scale it up to the level we need to do for the tens of millions of, of herbarium specimen images out there. Have you thought about scaling up? Yes. Yes, we are working on, on it. Uh, actually, uh, as um, we have no, 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 noticed that um, 
segmentation with um, uh, color segmentation technique is, is not really uh, sufficient to, to, to scale it up. But so we, um, we, we created the first data set to train a, a deep learning model uh, in order to, to be able to, 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 to apply it for all the 9 million images that we have. Um, uh, the, 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 actually, the last uh, results, we obtained them in science um, 10, 10 days. We are, we are trying, we are studying it we, to, to see the robustness of the model. And um, we think we have pretty good results. And we, I, in, in the next step, uh, it will be uh, we will um, use it for the for a large number of uh, images and to see uh, how uh, well the model is. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's an online question. You'll be next up. So, uh, for Michael Horton, if you could get hold of of a camera that covered wavelengths outside the visible red like green, uh, red, green, blue spectrum. Do you suspect it would show any clearer difference between the specimen and the background? You can hold the camera. Let's go back. Um, actually, I don't know exactly, but we can, what I can see is that, yeah, the, the color segmentation technique is not really um, sufficient to, to, um, to, uh, to do well segmentation. That's why we uh, used it in the first step to um, get uh, more than um, 7,000 well segmented images in order to use them for with deep learning models. So um, uh, segmentation techniques based on colors, I think it is not, uh, it, will, but it will not be a good uh, technique for, um, for all the images. That's why we um, we uh, were uh, working on deep learning models, and uh, as I said, the last results we obtained them since ten days. Thanks, um, thanks for the talk. Um, just wondering, are you doing this to do tray extraction, or what's the overall goal? Sorry, tray extraction. Yeah, is that is that the reason for doing the? Yes. Uh, so um, the reason that the reason why we are doing this is um, to train other models like uh, classification models in order to extract the tra traits of the plants because uh, we have tried the images, uh, uh, the, um, the original images and uh, they, the models they ca cannot generalize. So we noticed that there is uh, all the other elements, uh, all the non-plant elements uh, are, are as uh, just visual noise. Now um, we uh, tried with the segmented images with the learning models, and uh, we have better results. So we can uh, deal with, uh, for example, uh, traits like uh, the leaves if I, uh, they are opposite or not. If the, the leaf is, um, uh, for example, if the stem is uh, herbaceous or uh, yeah, stuff like this. Uh, I'm sorry, there are more questions, um, but we have to move on. So I just have to see Yusuf in the coffee break. Thank you. Uh, I guess uh, next up is uh, Holger Detke from the Swedish Species Information.